eat between 30 and 60 grams of oils each day, preferably Udo's oil. This is where you get essential fatty acids. The omega oils energize your metabolism. Also, make sure to have protein at every meal. It's important to begin your meals with protein. Sources for this protein include beef, lamb, pork, and fish. Fish is really a great source for your protein because the omega fatty acids in fish break down cholesterol and give you energy through burning fat. Eggs are a superfood and work well within your diet. You should also eat cheeses such as cottage, feta, mozzarella, and parmesan. Cut out carbohydrates and make sure to drink between two to three liters of water every day. We will work with you to develop a 14-day cycle for you to follow. And we can't emphasize enough how important following this 14-day cycle will be to achieve successful results. To do this effectively, you must know your calorie number. Dr. Drew will explain this to you and what it means. But basically, it means that you must eat less than your base maintenance calorie number every day for the next 14 days consecutively. Here's why it's important and how it works. It takes three to four days for your body to spend the glycogen it is now holding. And this is from the point where you stop carbohydrates absolutely. And what exactly is this glycogen you're holding? Glycogen is stored starch in your liver and muscles. Once this glycogen is spent, your body will take three or four days to begin burning fat. This process is called beta oxidation. And during this phase, your body will go through tremendous water shifting. It will take another week or so for your body water to equilibrate and correct. This is your 14-day cycle. At the end of the 14-day cycle, you may take a carbohydrate break for a day or so. But why cause a delay when you're on a roll? Allow your body to begin the cycle all over again through glycogen depletion, beta oxidation, and water equilibration. Interestingly, we can actually see glycogen when we look at muscle cells under a microscope. Usually situated close to the nucleus of the cells, glycogen is spent with exercise. We know this because muscle cells examined by a microscope after exercise have no glycogen. For a successful 14-day cycle, you must reduce your carbohydrate intake to less than 20 grams a day, and you must keep your calorie count below your calorie number for the full 14 days in a row. This means you must have good weekends. No parties on Friday night, no binge eating on Saturday, no big Sunday brunches. Keep under your calorie number Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Most of us are pretty good at doing this during the week, it's the weekends that disrupt the 14-day cycle. But stay in the cycle, and you will begin to see results. It's not hard, and what it means is that you must have one good weekend a month, one weekend where you follow your calorie number. If you do this, you won't really need a diet plan or a fitness trainer. You're doing it yourself. You will have acquired a skill, the skill of personal weight management. To this, Add your half an hour of daily aerobic exercise for six consecutive days, taking a break for one out of seven days, and in 14 days, you'll see results in the range of three to five pounds of weight loss. And the best part? This system really works.